Hello everyone, it's Saturday, March 27, 2021. Today is the day we get to ship our furs to Fur Harvesters Auction House. We have to meet the truck at 5.30 in Terre Haute this evening, so what this video is going to be is a quick look at our fur before I bag it up. So you want to see the raccoons, the uh, fox, the coyote one more time. Then uh, show you some of the process of bagging it some of the paperwork that goes with it and what it looks like completely bagged so other than that it's not going to be too exciting video but I'm just glad to get it done and glad to get it shipped out of here and get it out of my garage so you know last year we were supposed to meet the truck the 28th of March everything shut down and we ended up having to have a friend run my furs to Ohio to the guy that's picking our furs up tonight so less driving is just less of a headache and at least it's on its way to the auction house. Before we get to that, coming up soon, be on the lookout for our 3,000 subscriber giveaway. We are almost there, so that should be coming hopefully here in the next few weeks. We're going to be having three prizes we'll be giving away, so be looking for that. But for now, let's look at our fur and uh, get to the video. All right, everyone, just want to give you a quick look at our fur we're going to be sending up to Fur Harvester's auction. We're going to be meeting the truck later this evening, so just going to let you know what I've done real quick. We've got 29 raccoon here. We caught 23 raccoon this season. We turned three loose, so we kept 20. We had nine given to us. So we processed them, got them all ready to go. Uh, what I've done to these coons, I take them off the hangers. Every one of these coons have been wiped down with a paper towel. We take a comb and we've uh, brushed out the back fur here. In the inspection windows, when they look at it, it'll look nice and fluffy. Anything we can do to help the grade of our raccoons go up, of course, they're still going to go by the measurements, but everything you can do to help increase the value of your fur, do it. A red fox, we had two red fox. Both of them were females. You know, they had leg damage. We didn't really want to keep them, but the leg damage we had to, wish we could have turned them loose, but red fox. Take him off the hanger, and I brushed, brushed both foxes out. Like I said, they are still going to take these furs of the fox, the coyote, anything that's fur out. They will put them in a tumbler whenever they get them to uh, the auction house, so they will get tumbled regardless. But I still brush them out. And same thing for our coyotes. We sit there, take them off the hanger, brush them out. Try to make them look as presentable as possible. This season we caught five coyote. This is the stack of five that we caught. And we had five that a friend of mine snared and give to us. So we've got 10 coyote we're sitting up there. Of course, a two fox, 29 raccoons. So I've done all the prep work that I need to do before I bag them. My next step is gonna bag them, tag the bags, and then uh, we'll show you that in process here shortly all right almost got everything done what I've done is I've taken all the coyotes and fox and I placed them in one bag to keep them separated from the raccoons you can see here slipped it inside this bag then here we've got all the raccoon shoved down on this side all we got to do now is just seal this bag closed I use a stapler when I'm uh, closing the bag one thing you got to do when you're shipping them is they give you three pieces of paper to fill out. One is a, the tag that goes on the inside of your bag. It has all your information, your account number. Then on the one side you mark, one side's got your information, one side you have to mark what's in the bags. We've got you know, 10 coyote, two fox, 29 raccoon. I've also got another bag I got attached to the outside once I get this sealed. so. What I'm going to do now is finish sealing this bag, attach the other uh, paper to it, and we'll turn you back on. Alright, we've got the bag sealed. As you can see, I got my outside tag placed on here. So we've got our inside tag on the inside of the bag, outside, bag uh, outside tag on the outside. Both of them have the same information, name, count number, address, phone number, all that stuff, and the amount of fur you have in there. One more piece of paper that goes along with this is a carbon copy which you give to the agent that's picking the fur up, which we'll give to them tonight. I think we meet at 5.30 in Terre Haute, so 
that's where they sign, take possession of your fur, anything that happens to it from then, from there to until it gets to the auction house, it's insured, so it's replaceable, and they have all the information they need of the amount of fur you have and what it was and all that good stuff. So you can see, I'm not using any fur harvesters bag yet. I'm still using leftover NAFA. They still take them, put the fur in it, holds it. So what we're still using, it's like 11:30 right now, and we'll meet the truck at 5:30. So hopefully all goes well in this online auction coming up later next month. And hopefully we'll have an actual buyer attended auction later in the summer. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.